You're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. Well, marriage is work. And that's Marriage is work. Well, is. I'm not here. Let me... Go ahead, sorry. I'm not going to be here like, you know, everything is raw. Mm -hmm. You have to work hard, you know, to stay married, you know, and stay together, you know what I'm saying? My marriage was a success. Yeah. That's a damn lie. I look at it as like a curriculum when you're in college or high school, right? You're learning, you're growing, you're evolving, you're creating. And I was able to create with Corey some beautiful, amazing children. Mm -hmm. yeah. And at the end of that curriculum, and at the end, there's a graduation. Stop it. Get some help. There's a celebration. They feel something is wrong. They feel something is off. They feel, they feel, 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 feel. Well, well, well. What do we have here? The chickens have come home to roost. Oh! She is coming back to her man, y'all. Oh! She's coming back. Not only is she coming back, oh! she wants him back. And I say, and I say, absolutely not. Stay tuned. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content, you know what we're gonna do. Yep. Roll that clip. Leaved, feeling like you've conquered something significant. Then suddenly, waves of emotions hit you all over again. It's a side of divorce that isn't often discussed especially when there are kids involved. You strive to be a role model, teaching them resilience and self-care. You try different things to soothe and release emotional buildup with exercise, journaling your thoughts, meditation, and seeking therapy to cope with the breakup and the dreams you had for the future. It may sound cliche, but time truly does have a way of soothing pain. Someday, I believe I'll be able to look back on this time with nothing but warmth and gratitude for the beautiful children brought into my life and the stronger version of myself that emerged from the experience. For anyone who is going through this, I would love to hear your experience, share your story because there's power in dialogue. As women, we take our power back by sharing our stories and bringing any deep shame we hold from this experience into the light. I love you guys. Tia. <laughs> you lose! Word on the street is that Tia Mallory is trying to get back with Corey. Yep. Allegedly, she, even though she filed for divorce, as you can see, she's still wearing the wedding ring. Now, if this is indeed true, and the rumors circulating around this subject are indeed legitimate, we have to realize that, again, let's put the stat up, oh! more women file for divorce than men. Yep. And a lot of women will get on the comment section and say, well, Women file for divorce because men can't afford to, men don't want to, men don't have the ability to, so women have to file because men are broke. Nope. We don't file because we don't want to get a divorce. We want to work things out. We want to stay. We want to keep things going. It is always a woman trying to file for divorce and they always regret it you got lisa ray you got vivica fox two of the most bitter women women getting a divorce women losing good men women making mistakes based on their feelings why do you think so many women initiate divorce because they feel 
They feel something is wrong. They feel something is off. They feel, they feel, 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 feel. I'm going to give, uh, if you're in a relationship, I want you to ask your woman, how do you feel today? Then ask her at night, how do you feel today? I guarantee you that she is going to have two different answers. Go ahead and ask any woman, whether she's your friend, your coworker, family member, whomever, ask them, how do you feel today? And then ask them at night, how do you feel today? You're going to get two different answers because women work like this. They operate off of feelings. So they make life altering decisions based on feelings. That's why there are so many single mothers. That's why there are so many divorces. That's why women can't get, keep, or have a great or a good man. It's all about feelings. I feel this way, so I'm going to act on my feelings today and deal with the repercussions later. Tia Mowry is no different. She did what most modern women do on a regular basis. Tia Mowry decided today, I don't want to be married anymore. I'm going to get a divorce. I'm going to take off my wedding ring. I'm going to break up my family. I'm going to destroy my legacy. And the internet will support me. Yeah, girl, you did good. He did this. He did that. He was broke. Corey was broke. He was a bum. He didn't deserve you. Girl, you deserve better. See, nobody took Tia Mallory to the side and said, okay, we don't need you to break up the family. Keep the family together. Don't destroy it because you're going to realize that you made a mistake. And now, if this is true, she is coming back. And my whole issue with this is she should have never left in the first place. Yep. If Corey takes her back, she is going to lose all respect for this man. If you're ever in a situation, fellas, where a woman leaves you and then wants to come back, don't take her back. Because if she really wanted you, she wouldn't have left in the first place. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content, you're going to see me on the next screen. Click on one of those videos and view my most recent upload or the other videos that are on my channel. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.